Welcome to Dope Campbell Stadium, home to the Florida State Seminoles. And just listen to this crowd energy. For every Seminoles game, the war chant goes full throttle. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As so we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Florida Gators, taking on the 11th ranked team, the Florida State Seminoles. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Gators will kick this away to get us going here. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. Tackle at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And for Florida State's offense starts in less than ideal field position on that poor return. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in this stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. And one of the things that we saw, the clock's ticking down all year for this game, this day. Now they get their chance. They get them to the ground about the 18-yard line. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. A gain makes it second and medium. It's a quick grab. Oh, and he fumbles. And the ball will bounce out of bounds, so they avoid the turnover. Oh, my gosh, Chris. You could almost feel a collective sigh of relief coming from the offensive sideline as that ball rolled out of bounds. The offense catches a break. One more awkward bounce. That ball maybe stays in bounds, and the defense has a recovery. Play action fake, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Morlock. They get a grab, but the game leads the ball to the 36. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. Grab behind the line. It's Lee. Jukes to get past the man. Good enough for first down yardage. Good job with the offensive line giving this quarterback time to throw. You can see the damage he can do to you when he does have time. A great throw and something you just kind of expect in Tallahassee. A quarterback that can make throws like this. And the Seminoles are moving quickly down the field. And the single back takes the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Second down play coming up. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. They get him down, but that's a solid game. But Kirk, no surprise. You get these two teams on the field, and it's tight and competitive right to the finish. Well, Chris, the last time these two teams met, remember it came down to the wire, the very final few minutes. Sure hope we get another one like that today. Third down play now, trying to keep this impressive drive going. Can he get there on the ground? Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. The Seminoles will have to kick it away. Finally, the first punt of the game, hoping to pin them back deep. And the punt heads out of bounds, taking the dangerous returner out of play here. So the Gators offense comes out for their first possession today. And here we go, Kirk, this matchup on the edge that's going to go a long way to deciding this game. An elite wide receiver and a guy who doesn't believe anybody can beat him. This is going to be like a boxing match where it's an all-out battle. Two extremely gifted athletes 
competing on every snap. Better get your popcorn ready. He was brought down after a short game does not make the first time yardage. Boy, the offense goes with a jet sweep, and the defense is there. That is a tough play to defend, but give them credit for playing with discipline, especially with their eyes, not getting caught up, squeezing inside. They got to the outside and prevented that from being a big play. Caught behind the line. It's Badger. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. Any good offense has to have a reliable, quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Back to pass. It's Mertz. Gets made on the out route. You head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. Chris, I don't know what's more impressive, the catch or getting his foot down and having the awareness to know exactly where he was. Not just the marker, but the sideline to be able to get a foot in bounds. The Gators getting set on first and ten. Keeping it on the ground here. To bring him down right at the 30-yard line. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the tailback's got it again. That's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. Well, Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. On third down, it's a handoff. You bring it down at the 44. That's a solid game getting closer to midfield now. Third down, I think the defense is really expecting the ball to go through the air. Instead, the offense keeps it on the ground, gives it to one of the more skilled players, and he gets the yards he needs. Move the sticks. Big guys up front, line up. It's first down. It's a jet sweep. Receiver trying to turn the corner. He's found some room with the 45. Tackle, but first down. Man, these jet sweeps are dangerous. You spend so much time worrying about the pass game or the running back coming between the tackles. All of a sudden, here comes a speedster around the edge with a lot of momentum. Puts a lot of pressure on a defense, as you saw right there. Seventh play of the drive coming up. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Now it's second down here. Hand it off for a draw. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. A nice first down here by this running back, and what he's doing today makes me reflect on some of the great backs that they've had over the years in Gainesville. Emmett Smith, arguably one of the best backs, if not the best back in the history of the game. Damian Pierce more recently, but even guys like Eric Rett and Fred Taylor, just really talented running backs with the ability to take it to the house. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. He's got it near the end zone. They finally tackle him down at the one after that catch and run. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. But it's tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line. Eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. 
Another handoff to him on second and goal. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. Good job by the offensive line. You get some positive yards, but not quite into the end zone. Now we're going to have a third and goal. Getting closer, but now it's third down. Can they punch it in from the two? They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. And they're able to get him down. Tell you what, for a tired defense that's been out on that field for a long time on this drive, what a stop there on third and goal. It brings us to fourth and goal. And as a head coach on the offensive side, when you put together this kind of drive, you're this close inside the three-yard line, You've got to come away here with a touchdown. And they're trying to punch it in here. He's forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. One stop for this defense on fourth down. So it's first and ten inside the five. How does the coaching staff play this? So they run the ball to get some breathing room, or will they trust the QB and be more aggressive here? Stop short of the marker after just a short game. Second down after that previous play. And now the running back's got it again. And he breaks the tackle and the a solid game there. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Running back grabs it on a screen. And he's tackled just short of that first down mark. Good job by the defense. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The Knowles will line up to punt it away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Gators offense retakes the field. Last time out there, they got stopped on fourth down, but it didn't cost them anything. Let's see what the mindset is here. Well, it's incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. On this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. Second down play coming up for this offense. The throw. It's Mertz. Signs the good throw. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. So the ball placed right at the 50. Offense looking to pick up the first down here on third and short. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Hunt over the middle. It's Wilson. That's a big play. Moves the ball down inside the 30. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. And the Gators starting a new series here on first and ten. Looking to throw again. Grab behind the line. It's Patrick. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. A couple of things that really stood out to me here, Chris, on this nice play by the corner. Awareness to be able to see the wide receiver screen, and then the willingness to get involved and run support and make the tackle. Great play. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Single back takes the handoff. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. And now they'll run it on the draw. Fighting him off. 
take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for you. But the ones that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The Gators will try to keep this drive moving. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. And they'll run it on the jet sweep. And the tackle is made after a four-yard gain. So second and six. Hey, they gave up some yards here. But, man, that's a pretty good job by this defense against the jet sweep. You see who was carrying the ball there? He can fly. I would argue he's the fastest guy on the field. So you don't give up the big play. You give up a few yards. I think that's a win for the defense. Dropping back. It's Mertz. Catch made. Looking for the goal line. Walk down after the catch, but at the eight-yard line. The offense threatening here. The running back sneaks out there. He is a difficult matchup for this defense in the passing game. Man, it is so tough to match up in man-to-man -man coverage against a back like this and catch the ball like a receiver. It's something you work on all week, and you know about it. You're aware of it, but it's one thing to be aware of it and another thing to go out and execute it and try to stay within the man coverage. Very tough to do. He's tackled at five yards. The Gators trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Chris down here inside the 10-yard line. These are tough yards to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. Offense facing second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. They'll try to run inside, but nowhere to go. The back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. On third and goal, he's going to try to throw for it. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. Well, it is an impressive start, Kirk, in an emotional game like this. To be so efficient, to click like that early is impressive. Well, it's very impressive and a great way to start for this team because all the buildup and all the hype, now you can just settle in and play your game. And now they'll set up for the point after. PAT makes it 7 0. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. And they get a drive going this time. They'll hand it off. And just a short game this time. They're able to get him down. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground. And you've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Takes the handoff again. Showed off the stiff arm, but no way to go. It's going to a short game. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. To throw into Iangela Light. Makes a quick grab. They get him down to wrap up the first period play. That has been in large part the Lions on the ground game, which has been featured from both sides in this one so far. Flipped into the field. 
field ready now for the second period. And the no will climb up on first and ten. And here's the handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Hey, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Receiver in motion now. Off play action, he's looking to throw. And they heave it deep downfield. This one is broken up. Falls incomplete. That defensive back played that route so well. Right on the receiver's hip. He saw the ball and just swatted it away. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. The defense stops him short of the marker in that screen. Fourth down coming up. Good time here to drop this screen in for the offensive coordinator. And a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. And the Seminoles will send their punt team onto the field. Not what he was hoping for. Instead of pinning the offense deep, it's a touchback. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. Looking for the wide out. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Dropping back, it's Merckx. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Intercept the pickoff of the defense. Not much on the return, but hey, he'll set up the offense at the 35. Boy, Chris, he hesitated just enough to give the defense a chance to get in position and come up with a big turnover. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Now one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Man, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. So second down after the incompletion. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Pulls it in. It's lean. And the defense swarms. Not much of a game on that completion. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. It's caught downfield. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now for first and goal. Now that's what I call coming through with your team in a pressure situation. Great read. Got the ball where it needed to go, and now you're set up to get six. The Seminoles looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. First and goal. Handoff. You make it in for the score. Touchdown, Seminoles. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the score. Throwing the football. This is a great 
example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And he knocks it right through. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Return starts from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Florida offense retakes the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Looking to pass. It's Mertz. And that pass rush has trapped him. It's a sack. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver. But before he knew it, he's on his back. So now at the 13-yard line, it's second and long. Here's the option play. He'll pitch it. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. I mean, he's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And he'll drop back here on third down. Grab made by the tight end. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. And the Gators have first and ten here. in the backfield. It's Wilson. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit. The swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. The pickup is four. It sets up a third and six now. Back to pass. It's Mertz. Let's it go quickly. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. Oh, man. Nearly a disastrous play there by the quarterback. Look at his facial expressions right now. He knows that he caught a break. Trying to force the ball in there. He's going to have to make better decisions moving forward and work through his progressions to find his open man. The Gators will have to punt this one away. Looking to flip the field here. Turner is blocked down. Gets a start in the next drive. Here comes the Florida State offense on the field. Their last second scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here or the defense come up with a stop? A stop with the 34. That will be a first down. Tackle made with a strong arm through by the senior quarterback. Boy, another great throw by this quarterback to be able to pick up a first down and keep this drive alive. But they, he's starting to kind of feel like he's getting into a zone. And boy, Chris, over the years, how many Florida State quarterbacks have we seen get in that zone? Guys like Chris Wanky and Jameis Winston, Charlie Ward. Man, so many good signal callers that have played at FSU. They make the tackle, but not for a solid gain on that pass. Great execution on the RPO. Quarterback does a nice job as he's putting the ball into the belly of the back, making sure to read his key. This defense was determined. They came up to stop the run. Quarterback saw it, pulled it out, hit the quick slant right behind it for some great yards. 
That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? Brought down, but it's past the line of the game. The Knowles are on the move here. Gives it to the back. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards and sets up a nice second and two. They're going to run it. And the Knowles pick up the left yardage to get a first down. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line. Give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. First down and 10 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Boy, that was beautiful. Man, this defensive back, he's putting on a clinic today on how to defend against the deep ball and man coverage without committing a penalty. I'm sure the secondary coach is very proud of that execution. Here's the second down play. Scanning the field. It's Uyangala Light. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. They bring it down with an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. And the Seminoles will line up on first and ten. Trying to run it. It's Williams. Got space, looking to score. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Knowles. People are starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. Now the important point the after attempt. PAT puts him in front by seven. Kickoff team's on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Bringing it out, it's Hawkins. Ball carrier running through tackles. Coverage team brings down the returner. The Gators offense retakes the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? Hand off to the back. It's a one yard gain, second and nine coming up. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Makes a quick catch. And he'll pick up the first down, stop at the 27. Quickly. 
breaks loose at the 40. Tackle is made, but that's good for a first down of the 47. Watch big time play by the wide receiver. He makes the catch, breaks the tackle, and then gets some yards afterward. Offense will set up on first and ten. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Important second down play coming up. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Grab behind the line. It's Badger. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Again, this is a really nice job here by the defense. Keeping everything in front of them in that situation. Now, they're rewarded with this third and long. We'll see if they do the same thing here or they can sell out and bring the pressure. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Scanning the field. It's Mertz. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. Chris, this one's on the quarterback, in my opinion. He's got to have a better feel and a presence in the pocket to be able to either check it down or get rid of the ball. You just can't take the sack. Gators will have to kick this away when he comes to his second point of the game. On the return, it's Douglas. Refusing to be brought down. And the coverage seat pins it in and breaks it down. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. They got off to a slow start, but they have been clicking lately. Can they build on this lead now in the second quarter? Solid run. They'll bring it back to the 28 yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Now we run a draw play. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go, and now fourth down. Now down. The Seminoles will Number send the punt team onto the field. And the returner will be brought down. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Looking for his big tight end. And he pulls in the catch. Tackle made after a big game. So off the play fake there, the big tight end gets open downfield. I love this call right here. Anytime you can run the football, eventually it opens up play action. Linebackers and safety's eyes are in the backfield. They lose the tight end completely, and a quarterback throws that one on rhythm for a nice game. First down here for this offense. Using his legs, it's Johnson. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? They'll feed the back again. 
Try to run it up to Nato, but get nothing. Well, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. Whoa, you talk about a big hit there. I think this guy holds on to this football at a critical third down if this linebacker doesn't lower the blow. Great timing on that hit to prevent the P.I. call and to get this team to fourth down. And the Gators will bring their punt team onto the field. They pressure him, but he gets it away clean. That punt heading out of bounds, so there'll be no return here. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the Ruffing kicker. kicker. Defense. Defense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. So first and ten for the offense after a costly fourth down penalty on the defense. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. That's the two-minute warning in this close first half. The offense trying to score and clean the lead before the break. The Gators pick up enough yards to move the sticks. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. He's got it, looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. This quarterback on fire today. Perfect timing here by this quarterback. Great read, puts the ball where his man can make a play on it, and they're an extra point away from tying this game up. They're setting out to try the PAT. And the PAT is good. The kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. He stopped at the 20. Trying to make something happen. That's good coverage there. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time. Looking to put together a positive drive here. Grab down the middle. It's Williams. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. This is what you love to see, right? Quarterback does a nice job of looking and finding his open receiver. And he waits to the last possible second. The fact is, he gets hit as he gets that ball out of his hand. So good job of showing some strength and a good job of throwing with accuracy as he's taking that hit. Dropping back to Iangela Light. That's complete downfield. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. The quarterback was selling that he was going to throw the ball downfield, and I think the defense fell for it. Instead, he goes to the curl route. I think it really caught this defense off guard. Caught on the outside, it's Douglas. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. When you throw an out route against man coverage, and it puts a premium on a receiver who can set up the defensive back to be able to still have room to get to the outside and be timed up with a quarterback. That was great execution. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Has incomplete, very nearly intercepted that time. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. Fires it to the wideout. 
That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now got fourth down. The Knowles will bring their punt team on the field now. This one is out of bounds, and that'll give the offense great field position. And the Florida offense retakes the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Caught near the sideline. It's Wilson. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Second down. Second down after that completion. Looking to pass, it's Mertz. QB to the tight end for a completion. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Out of bounds at the full And that's good enough for first down. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. And he drops back in the gun. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. The offense will take their first time out of the half and talk strategy here. The slant is a great way to get the ball to your receiver against man coverage, especially if you feel like you've got an advantage on the matchup. Easy throw and completion for the quarterback and receiver. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. You know, as a quarterback, you end up having one of those days that everybody wants to talk about. How'd you do it? What a big day throwing the football the way he has today. Well, it takes catches like this and efforts like this to be able to allow you to have a great game. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. I mean, we're not even to halftime yet, and I don't think this guy wants to take a break once we get to the half. That's his fifth catch and counting. Looking to pass here on second down. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. But when you go against man-to-man -man coverage, you need some help from the quarterback. It's easy to look at a quarterback and say, why didn't you make this throw? But his intended target needs to get some separation against that man coverage to be able to open up the opportunity. So off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Easy route, easy throw for the quarterback. Good decision here by the offensive coordinator on third and short to just get the ball to the playmaker, make that catch, and pick up the first down. They move the six, but hurry to the line here on first down now. And now they'll just clock it to freeze the time. It leads to second down. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. It's a quick grab. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. So it's third down, but out comes the field goal unit. They'll try to add three points before halftime. Right down the middle. And that puts them back on top. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. The turn begins inside the 10. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Final seconds.
seconds of the first half. They will just take a knee and head to the locker room. It looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And he takes this from inside the five. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's where they start the drive. The Gators offense retakes the field. And a chance right away here in the second half to stretch the lead and build momentum. Let's see what this defense can do about it. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Finally brought down, but the game moves into the 44. A lot of times college quarterbacks get more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. A completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Back to throw. It's Mertz. Snags a quick throw. Brought down, but broke a tackle. So it was a solid game there. I thought the defense was in pretty good position there. They sat back and had good coverage, eyes on the quarterback, but you almost got to just give the quarterback and the receiver credit for being able to come up with that completion. That completion makes it second down. Here's the snap, looking to throw. That's made on the sidelines, and that gain is enough to move the sticks. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. That is high awareness for that receiver to know where the sticks were and adjust the route accordingly. The Gators will have first and ten here. Caught over the middle. It's Wilson. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. This is what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Or well, the quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw in the quick slant, gets some really good yards. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. Makes the grab, a chance to score. They finally tackle him at the four. It's a solid gain on the pitch and catch. What's well, been all passing all the time on this drive. This guy's five for five, and now they're sitting at first and goal. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. How about that, Chris? The quarterback does a nice job of getting the ball out of his hands quickly, and why not? With a receiver like this who can run like that, get him the ball as fast as you can and let him do his thing. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. That makes the three. Florida 24. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Number 29 sets a kick this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. To the air. It's Wiangala Light. The pocket breaking down. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. 
Chris, on this play, he has nobody open. It's better than taking a sack. He doesn't get intentional grounding because where he threw it, there was an intended receiver. I think there's no harm, no foul here. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Using his legs, it's Toa Fili. Only a one-yard gain for his third and nine. See now for the offense that hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. I love the crossing route because whether you play zone or man, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. If it's zone, you can find a nice bubble in that zone coverage and put the ball on the money. If it's man, the receiver can run away from the defender. Love to see this receiver putting up yards after the catch. He shows how valuable he really is. They stop him after a six-yard game. So second and four. run this play from the pistol formation. Second down, we're going to throw it. Makes a quick grab. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, they knew all week that they would have an opportunity to face a lot of man coverage and a lot of blitzing today. And one way that they felt they could counter that, getting the ball out of the quarterback's hands quickly, and especially on the quick slants for big gains. And the Knowles pick up enough to get a first down there. Looking to throw. It's Riangela Light. Receiver makes the grab. They stop at the 22. This offense in a great scoring position. First down and 10. They'll run it here. It's a nice wrap up there by the junior. And the Seminoles are in the red zone. They look to throw it here on second down. And the ball is hauled in. He moves the ball to the seven yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. The Seminoles looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Second and goal play. Spot the ball at the nine. Caught near the goal line. He will score. Touchdown, Florida State. That's a crucial response by this offense, but still, plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments in half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. Here comes the point after attempt. PAT up and good. We get a little bit closer. The kickoff team on the field now is it's set to send this one away. 
And here's the return from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Picks up the first, looking for more. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Quarterback will throw this out of the RPO. Out of bounds, but not before a big game. This offense is ripping the defensive part today. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defensive coordinator told him they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot. But I think the reality is seeing it now in person, I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. On first and ten, looking to throw. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Finding some room with the 25. They bring it down, but the game sets up the offense first and goal from the 10. Well, it's one thing to hear about how fast this receiver is in the scouting report. You look at him on film all week. The defense coordinator tells you, get ready, this guy can run. And then the reality comes, and this guy can fly. You see it again here. Nice catch. Great start for this offense. Three plays, and suddenly it's a first and goal. In the red area, it's Johnson. And the defense smothers him for no gain. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Second and goal for the offense. To throw, it's Mertz. Pass caught, can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. That's a crucial touchdown, Kirk. The offense padding its lead now here in the second half. Yeah, you get into this second half, you start to count possessions and how big your lead is. Now that you're up two possessions, you can start to play really smart football, not just on offense, but on defense as well. Kicking team out for the PAT try. The extra point makes it a 10-point game. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Set to kickoff. And he'll just take a knee. The drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved him right down the field. And the defense make adjustments. And he's tackled after the catch. Completion makes it second and medium. And the quarterback keeps it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Oh, gosh. Give this defense all the credit in the world. They had their eyes in the right position playing assignment football. Quarterback just looking for daylight. Couldn't find anywhere to go there on the keeper on the option. Again, that's great assignment football by the defense. Third down, the offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Looking to throw, it's Uyangalale. It's an out route, the catch made. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Chris, a really great job here with the quarterback and the receiver. This is all about timing. Quarterback gets back, no hitch in his delivery, gets the ball out in front of the receiver where he can run away from the defender for a nice completion. On the run, it's Williams. Solid game, moves the ball to a 43.
Offense getting set. Second down play here. And the quarterback dropping back. Quick throw. Catch made on the out route. They bring him down, but a big 50 yards on the play. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside, not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make plays after the catch. Great example of that right here. The Knowles look to keep this drive moving. Trying to get the ball to the perimeter on the jet sweep. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, this is the risk you take when you run this play. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it backfires. And this time it backfires on the offense by going backwards for a tackle for a loss. Getting set. Here's second down. left complete. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Back to throw. It's Uyangula right. Makes a quick catch. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. Well, a quick short throw here. Not able to convert for the first down. You'd love to see that route maybe a little bit deeper to give yourself a better chance. But they come up a little bit short. So now it's decision-making time for the coach. I'd be shocked if they didn't go for it. And he knocks it right through the uprights. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, four inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they were going for it. It's Hawkins. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Florida offense retakes the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? They start the drive with a quick throw to the right. Breaks loose at the 45. Potentially a touchdown-saving tackle, but not before a long completion. Boy, just a great job by this quarterback of being able to put this ball up in the air to give his receiver a chance to time that up perfectly for a huge gain for the offense. what the call is on first and ten. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Caught quickly. And he's brought down after a big first down game. A second and short. Maybe an opportunity for him to take a shot here. Brings up second down. And the Gators looking to cash in this red zone trip. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Caught behind the line. It's Badger. They bring him down at the seventh. The offense set up now with a first and goal. I mean, how about this offense and this execution? That's three plays, three completions, and the blink of an eye, and now it's first and goal. The Gators line it up with first and goal. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. He's got it right near the end zone. And the defense makes a saving tackle at the two-yard line.
All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown for it. As a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front, and it costs you. It's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. And they get set now to try the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. That makes the score. Florida 38. Florida State 24. Now they get set to kick it away. Set to kick it off. And the return starts just inside the end zone. They stop at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Florida State offense has bad on the field. They've had to settle for field goals. That won't work anymore. they got to find the end zone this time. The junior were able to bring him down quickly. Boy, he was so close to getting to the outside and coming up with some huge yards. But hey, let's give credit to the defense. This receiver is really fast. They were very, very fortunate not to give up a big play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back. It's Uyangala Lake. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. In college football today, the quarterbacks get rid of the ball often so fast that this is a great example for young players on the defensive line. If you can't get to the quarterback, watch their eyes and try to get your hands up so when the ball comes, you can knock it away. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Fires it to the wideout. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Big game moves the ball across the field to the 45. Well, a big play here by the quarterback and the receiver. By having an opportunity to make that big play, now they have a chance to put the ball in the end zone. And the Knowles lining up here on first and ten. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. It's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. He's in second down. Offense getting set. It's second down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Got him for a sack, a big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. Boy, how fortunate is the Florida defensive coordinator when you can rely on speed and quickness like this on the defensive line. No need to blitz. You don't have to bring those linebackers when you have the tradition and speed and excellence on the defensive line like these Florida Gators have. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here. Down multiple scores. To the air. It's Wiangala Light. Running back has it on the screen now. Defense makes the stop. The screen pass doesn't produce a first down. And now it's fourth down. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage. Keep everything in front of you. Force that quarterback to have to check the ball down. And then you rally to the football to force this fourth down. Great job here by the D. And the Seminoles will bring their punt team onto the field. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. And the Gators offense retakes the field. They really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop here. The defense is all over. They stop him right at the line. And 
And notice how the balance of this passing game has been on display here. A whole bunch of guys getting involved in catching passes. That's tough to stop. Now, entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. There's a wide open receiver complete. You bring him down, but he makes the four yard line. That's a solid game. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game. And it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Short pass finds the tight end. Finally, they get him. A great tackle by the quarterback. Not easy with that size difference. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Grab behind the line. It's Badger. They wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down marker. Boy, wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either the receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Offense facing third and short, approaching midfield. Can they convert here, or will they face a tough fourth down decision? They'll try to run for the first down. And will be smothered right at the line for no game. Well, these are the kind of plays you have to make to be able to win the game in the second half. This back had a great first half and has gotten plenty of touches, so you've got to make sure this half is different than how things have gone so far. The Gators will line up to put it away. He's going to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Not a very good boot. Sets up the offense in great field position. The punt bounces and goes out of bounds, so no chance at a return here. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? It's incomplete. They waited all game for a chance to intercept one and set a second down. From the snap of the ball, it looked like he knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. But the guy just had him blanketed, and he still tried to get the ball squeezed in there. He's got to do a better job of working through his progressions to find that open man. Back to pass. It's Wiangala right. Quick throw complete to the tight end. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. And the wideout goes in motion. Going to pick up the third and short through the air. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. Takes it out of the 44, that's good for a first down. I love to see this team fighting the way they are. Picking up a first down on that third down shows you they still believe. They still think they got a shot to come back and compete in this game. The Seminoles come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And the running back takes the handoff. The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. Brings up. Back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. And he dumps it off to the tight end. They get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. Third down play for this offense. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. What a number in the first down. Hey, it's got to start somewhere. It's a nice conversion here on third down. You got a long way to go, but maybe a little momentum here. Let's see what they can do coming off of that nice play. The Knowles are going to keep this drive rolling. Go 
He'll try the right here. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. Next up, second down. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's Uyangalale. The pass rush closing in. And he throws it away there. Safe move now. And nobody open. After the incompletion, they'll have to try to convert here on third and nine. Dropping back, you're going to throw for the first down. Bringing pressure. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And the Knowles bring their punt team onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. That takes a big bounce and goes all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Third down coming. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. It's a quick grab. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, he's been their go-to guy all game long. They needed a big play there on third down. They go his way again, and it works out. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Dropping back. It's Mertz. Here's the throw deep downfield. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Most offensive coaches will be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man coverage, but I'm curious to see if they're going to test this DB again after that coverage. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Look at this, he'll go deep again. Makes the catch, can he get in? And he's in! Touchdown, Gators! Well, the energy really building now, Kirk. They're not careful, this could get ugly. Chris, this offense has been impressive the entire game. And one of the great things about rivalry games is you'll never forget this kind of performance. And they'll set up with the PA2. Extra point up and good. A three touchdown lead now here in the final quarter. That makes the score. Florida. Florida State. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Number 29. Set to kick it away. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Solid coverage here to get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. 
And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. They had a long drive going last time, but it stalled, looking to reach the end zone. This possession. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Second down. To throw, it's Uyangala right. And this pass is caught. Tackle right at the throw, good enough to move the steps. Tackle made with a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Hadn't been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. The tackle made after the completion. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. What is this? Second down play coming up. Offense looking to throw the ball. And he's got his man open downfield. He's tackled and the yardage is good enough for the first half. And the big numbers just continue to pile up for this quarterback. That's more than 400 passing yards in the game now, Kirk. Chris, this defense has tried everything to slow him down, and nothing has worked. Whether they play zone or man, they blitz to try to put pressure. Anything to get him out of his rhythm has not been able to work because of the way this guy's been able to read coverage and get the ball out of his hands quickly. And the results have been a monster day. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. And the brings up second down. Now it's second down here. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Caught near the sticks. It's Morlock. And the game just good enough for a first down. And the Seminoles come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Looking to chuck it again. Caught in the backfield. It's Toa Fila. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Second down after that previous play. Dropping back. It's Uyangala Light. Snags the quick throw. He stopped, but he gets it first down. Chris, that's another big completion for this quarterback. You're talking about a career day. This guy's now over 450 yards in this game alone. The Seminoles are in the red zone. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark, inches away. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Pre snap motion from the receiver. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense is set up for the first and goal now. Well, at this stage of the game, this offense is clearly thinking it's four down territory. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. The Knowles will line up now. It's first and goal. First and goal. They'll try to run it in. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And it's first and goal. You're thinking about trying to score. You're looking at positive yards. Instead, you're going backwards. That's going to set up a very important second down call here. That's a second and goal play for the offense.
On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. Well, the defense is locked in on this running back, and for good reason. He's already scored a couple touchdowns. If I'm the offensive coordinator, give it to him one more time. Let him make it a hat trick. And the Knowles come up to the line in a hurry up. Third and goal, looking to throw for it. And it's picked off in the end zone. It's a pick and a long return before finally being taken down. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Florida offense retakes the field. Let's see if they can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. Use the running game to chew on this clock now. Well, we got a smart offensive coordinator on our hands today, Chris. Great job of just keep feeding this running back, keep it on the ground, working with the lead in the fourth quarter, force them to use all their timeouts, and just keep working that clock. Second down play coming up for this offense. He'll hand it off. It's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Game two. It's third down. Offense trying to move into scoring position if they could convert third and short here from the 50. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. So the ball placed right at the 50. Offense looking to pick up the first down here on third and short. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. They get him at the 42. Good enough for a first down. Yeah, I like this call here late in the game like this with the lead. Nothing too fancy. Just right up the middle. Trust that offensive line and this running back and just keep working that clock. And the Gators with first and ten here. They're going to run it here. And they try the middle but stuck for no gain. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Here comes a handoff. And tackled after a small pickup there. So the offense getting set, this is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. They'll run it from the gun. So they make the tackle, but will be the final play of the game as the clock hits triple zero.